Okay, you fell into the earlier video, just come up to 8 pm now. Uh, the sun's dropping to my right hand side, uh, just behind the houses and the trees there. Um, so, probably about 30, 40 minutes or so. I think 8.40 tonight, sunset's due. Um, so, 40 minutes or so until the sun will really be gone. Um, darkness will start to fall. And hopefully, the coir behind me and the net will start to get a little bit more active with one another. They're still much the same as you saw if you saw the first part of this video um, going around together, uh, mouthing the spawning ropes, uh, nudging each other or nudging the female occasionally. So, still hopeful that didn't expect anything to happen by now, never would have done. Um, so, it's in more darkness, um, 11, 11 30, maybe midnight. Even it's the early hours of the morning, I would expect before anything really is going to happen with them. Um, but I say, still hopeful that will happen this evening. Uh, nothing to suggest they won't. Um, so, fingers crossed. Um, that's rather concerning, maybe. Uh, what should be two males against one of them earlier? Uh, a bit of suspicion about. They seem to be being rather friendly with one another, which could be a problem. But let's just wait and see. Two females for the one small male might be a bit too much to do the poor that we can choose, you know? Maybe he thinks she's fair again than the large, larger female. It's nine o'clock, the sun's disappeared over the horizon. Just the last time a bit of daylight left now. And it's always easy to fool yourself at this point and convince yourself there's more happening or about to happen than the action is. So I think it's reasonable to say uh, there's some heightened activity within the net compared to an hour ago and, and earlier in the day. It's far from proper real spawning activity, but I really wouldn't expect it at this stage anyway. Just chatting with my good friend Dave Baker, who's also a local to me here and, and breeze some breeze shower himself as well done so for several years and just saying that he's experienced spawning that's started at 7am and sometimes finished at 7am and for me personally every time I've ever been involved with spawning in Japan um, and the spawnings that happen we covered up herd in, in America always sort of having maybe an hour or so before midnight um, to a couple of hours after midnight, so impossible to predict exactly what will happen. Many factors involved in when the, the koi choose the right time to spawn. Still have my doubts over that other Benny Curio from the Fuji. Sometimes it seems to be pursuing the female, sometimes the other male seems to be pursuing it. So we do these another hour or so, I'm making sure it might be dark there probably won't be much to see unless spawn is actually starting which 
but I highly doubt at this stage. Okay, it's now 10 o'clock, darkness has fallen outside. We've actually got a street lamp outside above the Koi house, which provides quite a lot of light for me to see with my eyes. Unfortunately, video camera, not enough and can't turn lights at the moment because I'm spooking the fish. Um, so I put the camera into night shot mode, hoping we can see something. Um, there's certainly an increase of activity now the lights when our daylight has disappeared which gives me enormous confidence that something will happen this evening um, or I still have serious doubts um, or increasing the serious doubts about the Akushi fish actually being a female not a male um, the small Marisaka male, which 100% is a male, he is pursuing both of the other koi at various times. Sometimes the Afusi fish gives off, seems to get involved like he's a male, and other times seems to be pursued by the, the Marisaka fish um, as though it's a female. So uh, it's going to be a difficult decision later on because I don't think the Marisaka fish is going to be very good at servicing both females. It doesn't really concern me that there's eggs from both females in here. Um, but I'm not sure he's going to be very good at servicing both of them throughout the night on his own. But we'll watch and we'll wait. At this point in time, you know, we want to put lights on and we're spooking them unnecessarily. Once the spawning starts in full later, then extra light is no problem. Once they've started, you can't really put them off. But there's always a risk of putting them off before they've started. So maybe make out the female. Yeah, and then the Afuchi fish is next to her. Making moves like he's a male as well. So at this stage really don't know. Um, but we'll keep checking them, keep monitoring them. I would say I'm pretty hopeful something is gonna happen some point in time this evening or before daylight at least as you can probably tell from the green ghostly picture still using the night mode on the video camera no lights on in the car house uh, just the light from the street light that's outside uh, coming through the courthouse roof uh, just coming from midnight and Still the same level of action, maybe a little bit increased in the tank so far. Um, so everything remains the same. Still confident something's going to happen this evening. Um, but whether that's within the next hour or the next two hours, whether it's going to be two, you know, not long till dawn now, um, in four, four hours' time, um, the, the daylight will start to come and um, start, start to lighten. Uh, so at some point I feel quite sure uh, they'll be spawning this evening or this morning um, so we'll keep you posted 3.30 in the morning and um, still no proper action going on in the tank um, still my suspicions continue about the sex of the Afushi fish um, who still being pursued somewhat by the by the Marisaka fish, Marisaka male. So the jury's still out on that one as to as to, to what sex that's going to turn out to be. Um, so it's 10 past five is the, the sorry, 11 minutes past five is sun up, sunrise. Um, so 
I'm still confident something's happening tonight. I've just turned um, a fine spray hose over the tank, um, which should maybe help trigger something tonight. Um, or something this morning, I suppose, now. Um, so that's it, really. That's as we are. Uh, we had a couple of hours of sleep. Alarm's been set every hour to come out and check the. Um, you, know, you get to the door and, and hope there's the, a splash as you open it, um, but alas, not so far. So we continue. 4:40 in the morning, and as you can see, no need for night vision anymore. The night's all but passed. The sky's starting to lighten around me. Um, the courthouse starting to lighten as well as dust breaks. Um, kind of feeling a bit despondent to be honest. Um, really, really thought they were going to spawn um, during the course of the night. And it's not over yet. Uh, there's plenty of opportunity for them still to spawn this morning. Um, but I figured it as, or I hoped it would have been done by now. Uh, or they'd be in the, the throes of doing it by now. Um, so still just a waiting game, um, that's the joy of Koi, <coughs> somebody suggested to me yesterday that they've never had Koi spawn on the first night, always the second night, my experience is different to that everywhere I've done it previously, <coughs> whether we was at Purdue or whether I've been with breeders in Japan, um, always uh, the first day they put together pretty much. Um, as far as I can recall is when they've spawned. So, we'll keep watching and waiting. Um, they're still showing signs, they're still interested in each other. Um, as I mentioned in the previous little clip, uh, there's a spray of water going in at the moment. Um, hopefully that may help to trigger this morning's action. So the male and the female there together. Not in the closest of proximity, but showing her the greatest of attention. Okay, it's 10.15 a.m. obviously, daylight. Um, I went to bed for a couple of hours with no sign of anything happening. Um, so, chance to sort of you know, think and regroup. So, the suspicious fish, the fish that I wasn't sure if it was male or female, um, decided to pull it out and have another look, see if there's any signs that it may be in the mood to spawn. See if we could find any you know, rough gill covers, rough pictorial fins, the oiboshi that appear on those, um, or even get any sperm from it. And there's not a single, single sign of either. So, with that being the case, I think all that it, she has done is dive out the attention of the male overnight. Um, so, she will now be dropped, which unfortunately puts us down to just the single male mentioned in the video yesterday it wasn't a massive big deal because I didn't need a huge hatch but just unfortunate to only be using the one male in case for whatever reason his sperm isn't or he's not fertile or whatever but so this girl's going back to outside to the main pond um, and then hopefully that will leave the male and the female to do what comes naturally later on uh, this evening, tomorrow morning, whenever it may be. So here we are. 
two males have become one male. As we go of moving that fish out, I had to move some water from this tank, which is warmer than the outside pond, into a portable pool. So let's drop this water down in here, which has the added benefit of a bit of a water change, which hopefully can help as a trigger um, the fresh spray of water going in uh, over the top of the tank. And I like to be really optimistic. And many a time when I sit and watch spawning, I try and kid myself that something's happening, but with the removal of that fish, these two suddenly are paying much more attention to one another. I very much think, you know, two females was just a distraction for the, for the little male. He'd move from one to the other and neither female's about to commit to releasing her precious eggs when the males, when she doesn't know there's a male ready to fertilize them. So hopefully now with the full attention of this little fella, it'll give her the confidence that she has a suitor for her. So it's, yeah, that's the sort of sign you want to see. The male rubbing his face against her cheeks. The vent. I mentioned a little clip earlier about no washi on the the fish that I've moved out. They're the rough bumps that occur on the gill covers and on the pectoral fins. And they're what the male will use to rub against the female as an indication that he's ready to spawn. So this will top up now a few inches. Obviously you can the tank levels down the filtration has to be turned off at the moment but once that goes up a couple of inches everything will be turned back on and these can be left alone and hopefully let's say nature will take its course. and they'll decide to start spawning at some point in time.